the whole story we won't get into, but there was some uh, domestic issues. Well, I was in a crime victim situation where I had uh, acid of bleach turn, uh, poured on me when I was 14, I'm 48. I came to see Dr. Tally and he is doing procedures to minimize the scars and he'll tell you what he's been doing to improve my scars. Yeah, so, <laughs> so she came all the way from Temecula with wine um, for my birthday, thank you. <laughs> and, Happy birthday. Um, <laughs> the goal today was um, because there's so much severe scarring and contracture along the neck, the cheek, the face, and all the way down the arms over here you can see, and all the way down to the hand, um, you can't go skin grafting all this stuff. And even if you do skin graft it, it doesn't make much of a difference for the deeper problems which she's having, which is fibrotic changes or desmoplastic changes, meaning that there's like inner scar contractures. In these cases, you're at a loss of what to do because you can't really go replace all the tissue in the body. We're not at the point yet where we can do any real stem cell regeneration. Uh, so what we do is the next best thing, which is not um, experimental and it's not uh, fact-driven or proven either. Um, and it's injections of uh, autologous fat cells, meaning we get fat from here, we use the progenitor cells in it um, as an emulsified fat, and we mix that with PRP. PRP is platelet-rich plasma, and there are several different ways to get it. Uh, what we do is we draw blood from the arm and we take a very large volume of blood, so we take 120 cc's, um, and we spun that down to about 20 cc's of platelet-rich uh, plasma, then we mix that with autologous fat. So we got a little bit of fat from the belly. We had to look very hard. We couldn't find it. Right, no. Um, <laughs> and we, we got it and we micronized it into a liquid, and this gives you the progenitor cell. So the PRP uh, is the signaling kind of messenger, we hope, to signal your immune system to come heal the area and the fat gives a little bit um, of a cellular matrix or progenitor cells, growth cells, to, to help stimulate that. Uh, what we did was we mixed the two together and we started injecting all around this area to loosen up the lip. She's got dermal atrophy in the lips, so right now it looks obviously a little puffy because we just filled it, but it's filled all the way through here where the scar is and then over here a little to give a little volume to match. If you can see everything here is pulled down in this direction, um, in the face. So what we're trying to do is release a scar band that comes all the way from here across to here. So we did large micro, large volume microneedling injections all the way in that area of the neck, all the way in this part of the face, and then down over here. Do you mind if I lift up your arm? No, nope, that's fine. There's a big area of scar contracture down over here where it's difficult to move, and you can see it's just tethered. So this is the area that we can monitor the easiest along with here in the neck because it's a nice firm tense area where you feel these uh, striations or scar bands. We injected all of these um, and then we injected all the way here down onto the hand. So we are curious to see what it's going to do in each area. Some of the areas have poor skin quality, uh, lack of movement. Some areas have constriction like this where everything is kind of tight and banded and it makes movement of the arm difficult and uncomfortable. Can't do yoga poses that one. <laughs> yeah, <there's, laughs> no downward dog. No, no downward dog. Yeah, um, this. Yeah, there's no weekend warrior. Is that a new one? Weekend warrior. Yeah, Aztec warrior. Aztec. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making one. it up. Warrior, warrior one. 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 Yeah, warrior no one. Warrior two. Whatever. Things very busy. Today is August 29th, and I'll be back in a month for to show more videos of the improvements. So stay tuned. Yeah, Let's so we're gonna it. watch and see.